Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I was thinking we could be painting this romantic de delicate painting and I think this one is also quite simple and I think you will love it. You can of course use maybe more vibrant colors than I do but I did want to make it a light and romantic and somewhat vintage so I hope you will like it. First I did make my sketch and I did draw it on the printing paper, just regular printing paper and then trace it onto my watercolor paper and afterwards just removed excess graphite with artist eraser. And if you don't have a graphite paper, you can just use your window to trace your to trace your sketch. Also, I did make a sketch for you to download, so you can go ahead to my website and download it for yourself. And the link you can find down in the description box. I'm sorry about this. I, I now when I'm looking at the video, I can see that it's focusing all the time. It's not focused. I'm sorry about that. It will be. It will get better later on. It won't happen again just for this short while so bear with me and when I finished with my sketch I prevented the entire paper and then did the background just little splatters added here and there are some colors and when that finished completely I moved on to painting the flowers and the butterfly and for painting this painting I'm using my handmade watercolors that I made so I'm sorry no names for the colors just you can use any colors you like as I said you can use even more vibrant colors make this painting a little bit more vibrant I did want it to make it quite delicate and light and so that's the reason why I did not add too much pigment I could have but I didn't want to add too much pigment and all the colors are somewhat pinkish and a little bit orangey but all light and all pastel and flowers I'm painting in the way that I'm just starting with the one side of the petal adding a little bit more pigment and then smudging it off to the other sides of the petal and also I did add that pink color and then later on just a little bit of yellow color and the other flower that is that it is a bud a bit more bud than a full blossom I've I'm using this I would say this is something between maybe raw sienna and burnt sienna to paint that in. Also I did, you will see on the sketch there are some darker lines among the near to that lines. I did paint it a little bit darker then smudged them slightly and left them on the other part of the petal a little bit lighter. the center I've painted with just a light color this is something like raw sienna and then topped in a little bit darker color and also added a couple of more details to my bud and I will do a little bit more details to the flower also make a slightly bigger distinction between my petals but I will do that later on and I did not prevent the petals before painting I just painted wet on dry but when you do paint wet on dry you have to work quite fast adding the pigment wherever you want it and then rinsing your brush and smudging it because if you're not working fast it could dry on your paper and you could be left with some lines and markings you don't actually want on your paper so it would be easier to prevent but then again you would have to wait for every petal to dry to move forward to the next petal. So right now as I said I'm adding a little bit more details, a little bit more saturated pigment and then smudging it slightly. After finishing with my flowers and you can see quite delicate and romantic and not pretty vibrant I'm moving on to the butterfly and butterfly I've painted in yellow and then afterwards added again that pink color to some parts of my butterfly and I did also add a little bit more of the brownish color to the place where the body of my butterfly is going to be and also to the edges while the paint is still wet and it slightly bleed it into the butterfly. Also did a couple of sprinkles and then after sprinkling it I just smudged them slightly. After that I moved to that 
flower that is full blossom and has a little, lot of little uh, small blossoms, small flowers. And as you can see, I'm picking up, I did not again privet, I'm picking up the paint and adding it with the tip of my brush and then just rinsing my brush and smudging it a little bit outside and when how i'm smudging it it just i'm picking up the pigment also and spreading it around the paper leaving some parts a little bit darker some a little bit lighter and also adding in the middle part a little bit more pigment and now i'm also adding uh, that brownish color to the center topping it with a smaller brush and this time it's not spreading so much and it's leaving those dots that looks like like shadows and a little bit darker flowers that are maybe in shadow after that um, with a mix of blue and yellow I made some green and I'm painting in the leaves also making the edges a little bit darker and leaving some parts of the of the leaves a little bit lighter and with the brown color I am painting the stems and I'm not trying to avoid touching the leaf I did want to let the paint slightly bleed also into the leaves I do love that it looks like that part of the leaf is a little bit darker later on I will also add some lines to the leaves some veins to the leaves with the same brown color I'm painting all the stems and I've also added a couple of smaller I don't, I'm not sure if they're buds or some sort of flowers and you know this is a quite loose painting and I think you don't have to be so precise and you don't have to watch over every single detail and let your paint bleed slightly let it be also a little bit looser and I think that will make it a little bit more fun and now with a script brush I'm just adding a couple of lines to that flower with lots of blossoms and the final detail is actually adding the body of the butterfly now that his wings are dry i'm adding that and also adding those little antennas going out from the from the head of the butterfly and some more details on the butterfly wings and those details i'm doing with the detail brush and i'm just going with the tip of my brush just sliding slightly on uh, top of my paper and then pressing it a little bit harder and a with the belly of the brush doing that thicker part of the line and I guess that is actually it with those couple of less details I'll be finishing off this painting and of course this video thank you guys a lot for watching I hope you liked it and if you do like it please do let me know uh, press the like button comment and share it please do share it it would help a lot to you know grow my channel and if you haven't still please subscribe to my channel i would be really grateful for that also and maybe consider joining my channel more about that you can hear if you press that join button next to the subscribe button and hear a little bit more about that and if you like the offer well, then you decide whether or not you want to join. And again, as I said, thank you so much for watching. It means so, so much to me. And I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.